many authors and speakers have written and thought about several qualities of what it takes to be a good leader. And with the current uprising in technological trends leading the world to something more than the digital age, there's a need for efficient leaders of various countries and different sectors to steer the global wheel in a direction that brings out the positive possibilities of all the digital advancements while minimizing the negativity and loss as much as possible. The attitude and lifestyle of many leaders have been studied over the years and some leaders have better records than others, while some others stand out amazingly and have proven to not just be good leaders in their times, but great icons to reckon with and good role models of upcoming leaders in various spheres of life. In Matthew 20, verses 25 through 28, Jesus established the required qualities of a good Christian leader drawing a line between them and the Gentiles who do it the wrong way. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be your slave, even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Here are seven outstanding qualities of these great leaders who have worthy records. Number one, integrity. Great leaders live by their words. Most of the time, their lifestyles set good enough examples for their followers to emulate. Integrity is their watchword because they understand that their reputation largely depends on their ability to live out what they stand for. Great leaders are not people of empty words and no actions. Most times, their actions do the speaking to prove who they are. They do not go about telling their followers what to do, but doing the opposite behind their backs. Their words and their actions match. Hence, they very easily gain the respect of their followers. By doing so, it's easy for them to gain the attention, interest, and respect of new followers because their track record has proven them worthy, up to the task, and reliable. Number two, humility. Great leaders are humble. Now, humility does not mean degrading or demeaning yourself to put another person up. Humility means having good self-esteem and self-confidence enough to respect yourself and others. Number three, accountability. Great leaders not only take responsibility for the day-to-day -day affairs of the organization, but they also hold themselves accountable for the mistakes of their team. They understand that the team's mistake is their mistake, and so they take the responsibilities to fix it, whether the cause of the problem was directly their fault or not. They not only show up when a good job is done, but they also show up when a mistake is made, and they hold themselves accountable to fix the problem. Number four, good listeners. Great leaders are good listeners. They pay attention to the problems of their team members, both personal and professional. In this regard, they understand that the healthiness of the personal lives of their followers determines their effectiveness in the workplace. Great leaders also pay attention to the finite details of seeming inconveniences of their followers and they look for ways to fix them. They are detailed and caring. They want to find out the what the why and the how of their problems and look for ways to fix them. Number five, proactive. Great leaders are proactive. They have a whatever it takes mindset. They are always ready to do whatever it takes to get a job done or a problem fixed. They do not sit and wish away their problems. They'd rather get to work and find solutions to those problems. 
they go for the best and stop at nothing to get there. They are full of energy, drive, focus, and passion, and they pass on these qualities to their followers. They are always ready to face challenges head on, and they do not shy away from responsibilities. They also have a let's go get it mindset. Their passion, drive, and resilience encourages their followers to get to work. This makes them leaders by example. Number six, vision oriented. Great leaders bear the vision of the organization. They know what they want and how far they want to get. They can see into the future to know what they want to accomplish, how much they want to accomplish, and how to get what they want. Now, vision is what differentiates a leader from a manager. A great leader leads people to get the work done. He understands the assignment and he makes the goals, the vision, and the mission statement of the organization he is. Number seven, positive mindset. Great leaders are positivity enthusiasts. They are people who see the glass half full rather than half empty. Because of their positive mindsets, their bounce back game after a fall or a tragedy is strong. They are quick to recover because they focus more on their capability to become better and achieve more than on the challenges they had to face and the obstacles on their way. Because of their whatever it takes mindset, they are always ready and quick to get the ball rolling. Number eight, strategic planners. Great leaders are strategic planners. They understand the seriousness of the task ahead of them. And so they plan strategically and technically before heading into the action. They make sure to do all their research and findings before plunging into action or dragging people along with them. With strategic planning, they are more likely to reduce mistakes, errors, and regrets. And with strategic planning, they take on tasks and challenges with confidence, beckoning their followers and passing on the confidence to them. Great leaders like to get ahead of the situation to steer the path for their members to follow. Number nine, decisive. Great leaders are decisive. They can make decisions and stick to them. They also understand that they might not make the best decisions at all times because it's easier to learn from mistakes than learning from no experience. Number 10, courage. Great leaders are courageous. They are willing to go all out regardless of whatever it takes to get the job done. They do not back down in the face of threats or failures. Rather, they stand up to them and these challenges them to become better. Become a great leader today.